how'd you get like this, buddy? Let's get you out of there. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here this morning with Maverick, my best little friend. Oh, that's falling off. Piper, come over here. Piper. Oh, Maverick's getting the camera. Maverick attacked the camera. Now we gotta wipe it off. Hold on a second. And we are back. Maverick, you can't take my hat off like that and you can't lick the camera. He's just a little pup and he's still learning. Only nine weeks old. Look how big this guy's getting and look how big Piper's getting. What do you got there, Piper? A leaf? Oh, are you shaking your butt? Yep. You can't whack me with your tail. She just does that when she's happy. What are you, what are you doing? Ah, you're knocking me down. Guys, today we have a really cool video for you. I just wanted to update you on Piper and Maverick, the beautiful golden retriever puppies. Piper is eight months old. She'll be nine months soon. And Maverick is nine weeks old. So if you haven't seen the videos where we got them and all about them and you want to check it out, go check out that stuff on the channel. My name is Landon Share. if you guys don't know me. And today we have a really cool video for you. We're going to be going to the zoo and giving you a tour of all the animals, all my animal friends. I've shown you a lot of animals on the channel already. So if you guys want to check those videos out as well, check them out after. But I do want to share with you the other animals that don't get as much attention and give you a tour properly of how beautiful our zoo is at ZWF Miami. So let's go right now. This is how I start my day. I let out these dogs and let them go to the bathroom. Then I go get a coffee and then usually I'm heading to the zoo or filming some other video for you guys. So let's go get our coffee now and then head to the zoo. I love starting the day with coffee because it's part of my routine. I get up, I let my animals out, being the dogs, take care of some of my other animals like the little chameleons and things like that. I don't have too many animals right now but I will be getting more as I am looking at properties to get in the future. Once I get the space to have what I want, it's gonna be craziness. So you guys are gonna to have to stay tuned for that. That'll probably be in like a year or so, depending on, depending on how money comes in. But anyway guys, got the coffee, so let's head to the zoo to see Mr. Limbani. Guys, I literally just pulled up to the zoo, had to show you I was here with my big boy Max and Zeus, but my mom just sent me a picture of a bird stuck in the fence. It's a hawk. I'll show you guys the picture right here. She just sent me this. I just got here to do this tour for you guys, but we're gonna have to push that back because this bird needs saving. So I'm gonna have to hop in my truck right there and head back home when I was just there. I don't know how this happened. My mom's calling me now. Guys, I will see you when we get to the house. So I'm home now. Hey Scout, what's going on? Try to see where this thing is. It's definitely in the backyard. Oh my gosh, guys, I see it. I see it here. Hold on. You can see we've got a bunch of plants there. I'm trying to move quick, guys. This is all new, that's what I was pointing at. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. He is stuck in there. We have to get him out ASAP. Look at that, he's stuck in the fence. It looks like he's holding on there. He's even bent out the fence. You can see this is the normal chain pattern. He has bent out the fence here to where he's been trying to escape. He's just caught up in it. It seems like it might just be this wing, but we hope he's not too hurt. I don't know how you got like this, buddy. Let's get you out of there. I'm gonna open this door. You can see we have a beach area down here. Open this door. Come in here. Come here, buddy. You're okay. How'd you get like this? How'd you get like this? Now filming this and trying to get him at the same time could be really crazy. We got some crazy wind going and his talons are ready. He is in a dangerous position right now. He's ready to strike. You see him lining up those talons. The other one's holding on probably for comfort so that his wing doesn't hurt too bad caught in that fence. How'd you get like this, buddy? Let's get you out of there. So what I've done is I've set up the camera here because I don't have anyone to help me film. We've got to get him out of here, guys. Let's see if we can get him. Come here. It's okay. Actually, I'm going to try to do this with one hand. I think because he's small enough, he just seems, he's not a baby, obviously. He's just a young hawk. Come here. He's got his mouth open. Try to do this through looking through the camera LCD. He might get me with one of those talons. I'm trying to capture it in the best way. You see, he's trying to move. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. I'm really, I'm not hurting you. 
I'm not hurting you. He thinks I'm gonna kill him right now. He thinks I'm trapped and I can't get away and this big guy's coming in and he's gonna eat me. But that's not the case. I just gotta get you here. I get a hand under, I think he'll come right out but I, I don't know how bad he's stuck in there. And I don't wanna hurt him any worse than he already is. Let's see, you see that wing over there? It's stuck in that gap. Oh, I can get it with my fingers. Oh, he's trying to get me. There we go. We've got him out. That was easy. That was pretty that was pretty easy, but a stressful situation for you, huh? That wasn't too bad. Let's get him up there. Oop. Let's get him up there by the house. Come on, buddy. Let's go over here. We gotta open it. Oh, you almost got me. And there we go. We've got the bird got him away from the beach as you can see guys he's doing all right he's still a little afraid I gotta fix my grip on him but you guys can see where he got stuck and how he bent out that fence I don't know how he got in there but luckily we've got him let's take a look at him up here beautiful little hawk I'm gonna try to flip him around fix his wing position so he's in a more comfortable position. Let's see. Don't hurt me. I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to help. He tried to get me with one of his talons and I didn't want to get hit. But you can see he's in this defensive position since he can't fly away. Obviously something's messed up with his wing. He's just here laying on his back with his mouth, that crazy beak, and those sharp talons saying, I'm gonna hurt you if you get near me. But buddy, you're already hurt. We got to get you to a wildlife rehabber. Got the hair tied up, get it out of the way. Got the bird back in our hands in a better position, a little more comfortable for him. You can see I'm trying to keep away from those talons. He is a magnificent bird. I could go on and on talking about this guy. Just a native bird from Florida. I'm going to focus it on him. Check out those crazy eyes. Just a true natural born killer and incredible hunter. These guys can eat rattlesnakes, really anything they can get those claws on. He's trying to get it on my face right now. I'm not gonna stress him out too much. Let's get him in a little box and we gotta get him down to a wildlife rehabber. I'm not gonna make this too long because I know he's in a stressful position. You can see he's defecated on himself a little bit from the way he was sitting in the fence, probably. You're gonna be just fine, buddy. I think he's all right, but like I said, he can't be in my possession as much as I would love to keep him here for a little bit and let him back go. Got to get him down to the wildlife rehabber. They're going to take care of him and then hopefully he'll be back in the wild as soon as possible. Let's get him in a little box right now and then we'll take him down there. Here you go, buddy. Here, we're just going to put you right in here like this. Try to get him all the way in there comfortably. Beautiful bird. Oh, get the hand out quick so he doesn't hit us. And we just close it up like that. And that, guys, is a successful mission. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this little video. I know you didn't really enjoy flying into that fence. I don't know how he got caught up in there. He might have seen a prey item. I know we have some big old lizards in here, some agamas, invasive species, that if he sees one of those, he might try to get at them and hop through the fence rather than flying on them. I really don't know how he got caught up in there, but all we know is that he was in there and we got him out. So successful little mission. Stuff like this is happening all the time and really it's due to us humans. I'm going to put them down here. It's because we want to have these nice fences to keep our dogs in and out and all of that stuff. We are intruding on their habitat. If we could work together with our wildlife and try to coexist in the best way, well, that is the goal to all of this. So I hope you guys kind of learned something from this. I definitely am going to enjoy rescuing this little guy. Hopefully he'll be all right. He seems pretty good. He's definitely more relaxed. I tried checking out his wings, but I, I don't see him being able to fly because when I put him down, he doesn't want to fly away. Something's definitely wrong internally that I can't see with my eyes. So we'll get him down to the rehabber, as I said, and I'm going to go back to the zoo. Again, hope all of you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'm Landon Share, and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.